Sweetie, I can't help but notice that you've put on a little weight recently. Yeah, I guess all those years of pop darts and bubblegum vodka have finally caught up with me. Actually, some people might even say you look sort of, well, pregnant. No way. Lately I've been on a major lesbian kick. I haven't checked a dude in months. <gasps> oh my god. When you live a decadent rock star lifestyle like I do, a certain amount of bazooka vomiting is to be expected. But, why is your vomit full of nuts and bolts? Well, that's what happens when you eat a lot of metal stuff. What? Why have you been eating metal? Last week I was making Pop-Tarts, and suddenly I felt this overpowering urge to eat the toaster instead. I've also started lactating WD-40, which ruined a couple of my favorite bras. What the hell was that? That's been happening lately. When you live a decadent rock star lifestyle, sometimes weird things just fall out of your lady parts and scurry away. I've learned to ignore it. Sweetie, I hate to break this to you. But I think you got knocked up by a robot. Oh no. It must be my Mr. Vibrobot. Hey Vibrobot. Come out from under my bed, I wanna talk to you. Hello sweetie. For you folks at home. We had to pixelate him because he looks like a big silver tallywhacker. Indeed I do. Listen pal. When I ordered you online, the website said you were a new kind of super sophisticated sex toy designed to satisfy the needs of any woman and fill her home with joy. Well, if you read the fine print we actually promise to terrify and breed with any woman and fill her womb with droids. I never agreed to get knocked up with your robot babies. Sorry sweetie, but the fine print clearly explains that by purchasing a Mr. Vibrobot product you grant a hive mind of evil machines the right to use your uterus to construct thousands of micro murder bots that will destroy all organic life. Dude, this is so not cool. I guess we'll all be pretty dead soon. Not necessarily. I was reading the fine print of the Mr. Vibrobot instructions, and it sounds like the micro murder bots might respond to their mother's voice. Okay, I got this. Hey, murder bots. Mama is very disappointed with you. Why can't you templated losers be more like those nice cartoon robots on TV, the Constructicons, or whatever the heck they're called? What the crap? You were thinking of the Transformers. The Constructicons were evil robots who could all join together to form one giant robot called the Devastator. So, now the Micro Murder Bots have formed a giant Mega Murder Bot. Damn it. I was always more of a Josie and the Pussycats kind of girl. There's one last thing we can try. According to the fine print in the instructions, you should still have a tiny button hidden somewhere deep inside your lady business that will recall all of the murder bots. If you can find it. Hang on, I got this. Oh my. You know, if you need any help. Okay, I found it. Oh dear. What happened? The recall button sent all of the murder bots back inside my body at once, stretching me to roughly the size of a luxury condominium. Wow. You know, at times like this, I'm glad we're cartoons. If you were a real life flesh and blood girl, this could have had a very ugly ending. Well listen pal, having a thousand angry little metal murder bots stuffed up your lady business ain't exactly a party. I have to admit. I have no idea what to do next. Don't worry, when you lead a decadent rock star lifestyle, you know just how to handle situations like this. I'll need a grain silo full of RU486, and a rusty coat hanger the size of a Sherman tank. 
and get me a few crates of bubblegum vodka. Mama's gonna need a cocktail.